Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. This is Vaughn Stewart, and I want to thank you to our virtual accelerate breakout session, Modern Data Experience for VMware Cloud Foundation. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm Vaughn. I'm a VP of Technology Alliances here at Pure, and it is my privilege to be joined by Sheldon DePaiva, Director of Product Marketing at VMware. Sheldon, Vaughn, thanks great for to be here. Us. Oh, great to be here. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, today's session, we're going to talk about VMware Cloud Foundation with Pure Storage. And we're gonna focus on four unique value propositions that we bring to market. They are optimizing your data center resources, providing storage fabric flexibility, simplifying your VCF management, and automating and protecting that infrastructure. But before I get into these four pillars, uh, I'd like to give a few minutes to Sheldon to introduce you to VCF, as well as what's new in VCF4. Sheldon, take it away. Great, thanks Vaughn. So VMware Cloud Foundation, it's uh, VMware's ubiquitous hybrid cloud platform. Uh, it combines compute, storage, networking, it's all very tightly integrated uh, with complete management to deliver uh, a cloud operating model. Now this same software stack can be delivered on premises in the data center at the edge through one of our many service providers or in one of our uh, big hyperscaler public cloud partners as well. So, you know, VMware Cloud Foundation has really been taking the enterprise by storm. Um, it, it offers investment protection in a way to future-proof infrastructure. And there are three key ways we do this. Uh, the first, it allows our customers to deploy on-premises so they can start from on-premises with their enterprise applications. Um, or if they're looking for, you know, security compliance, that's the place they might, might want to put it. Uh, but they can leverage the public cloud or cloud provider for burst capacity, or when uh, planning needs are a little bit more uh, uncertain. And the second uh, way uh, is that we offer a lot of optionality with uh, VMware Cloud Foundation and customer choice. So we know that um, customers want to deploy VMware Cloud Foundation uh, both with hyper-converged infrastructure as well as external storage. And so uh, through partners such as Pure Storage, who great partners of ours that we work with, we provide that choice to customers. Now, uh, we have uh, um, many joint customers and Pure has been a great partner both for VCF as well as VWAL that can provide a, a common operation model as well between external storage as well as HCI. And thirdly, what we're going to talk a little bit more about with VMware Cloud Foundation is that it provides a common platform for both your traditional uh, VM-based applications as well as your container-based uh, applications. So let's uh, go to the next slide, uh, Vaughn, and talk a little bit more about that. You know, um, with VMware Cloud Foundation 4, what we've done is address one of the big challenges we've seen enterprises face. And a lot of enterprises uh, um, have wanted to move to a much more agile operating model. Their developers you know, want to consume infrastructure on demand. And that's one of the reasons they've been going to the public cloud because it makes it easy to do that. Now, traditionally, uh, IT infrastructure operators I've been unable to deliver infrastructure in a very agile manner uh, with sort of a, a traditional software stack. What we've done with VMware Cloud Foundation 4 is we've integrated both containers and Kubernetes as first class citizens within the platform. Uh, so what does that mean? Now developers can use uh, Kubernetes APIs such as Kube Control to consume infrastructure on demand but the IT operator can make sure that they are providing the enterprise class governance uh, policies, you know, security, um, all of that with the same software stack that they know, the same tools that they know. So for example, the IT operator can use vCenter uh, to basically monitor both VMs, containers, as well as Kubernetes constructs. They can actually apply enterprise class policies uh, to things such as namespaces, um, security policies, quotas, and so on. And then the developer can yet consume infrastructure on demand through the interfaces that they know. So uh, historically, there's been this big divide between like, de developers, DevOps, as well as IT operators. Now, IT operators can service the needs of developers who want to consume infrastructure on demand and do it with the same tool set that they know uh, while making sure that they're providing the enterprise, enterprise class uh, governance that's required as well. So with that, I'll turn it over to Vaughn, who's going to talk a little bit more about how uh, the Air Cloud Foundation and Pure Source are better together. Thank you, Sheldon. Uh, I want to um, echo your sentiments. We are seeing VCF in a large number 
of enterprise conversations. I think VMware has really hit the nail on the head with what they're bringing to market there. And so let's pivot and talk about the infrastructure that uh, powers uh, a VCF and why we believe pure storage and flash stack is in our opinions, an ideal platform for this. So, so what you have on your screen here is um, how I'd like to talk to you about um, optimizing your infrastructure resources. Um, you've got a picture here and it shows you your various domains inside of a VCF deployment. Obviously you have the management domain and that's runs on vSAN. And so you've got a set number of nodes uh, under that, that um, workload domain or management domain, I should say. And you've got a number of workload domains and they're all residing on, on uh, the flash array as a part of the flash stack. So, so what you see in this picture at this abstracted level is a disaggregated architecture. And the first benefit that you receive from this is you, you enable hardware sharing. Um, this is just you know, part of the architecture itself. And to, to reiterate what the last point that Sheldon made is um, one of the things that's, that's really powerful about what VMware brings to market is through SDDC manager, the customer receives a consistent set of delivery and operating practices, whether they're deploying on uh, flash stack or whether they deploy on vSAN or into the cloud. So from a flash stack with VCF perspective, the customers receive elasticity, specifically that they can provision and resize storage or data stores on demand uh, and without impacting the rest of the operations. Second, they gain agility, specifically at the server layer. Servers can be assigned to a workload domain and be reassigned to another uh, on demand and in a matter of minutes, and again, without disrupting any of the uh, business practices. These two together give, give um, a lot of agility that results in efficiency that previously you know, may have been a challenge for some because you can, you can reduce your infrastructure spend because now you've got a shared pool of resources um, and, and that allows customers to maybe not have to be so rigid in predicting how a particular workload domain may grow or not grow, right? They can, they can move forward and if their predictions were wrong, they can resize without any disruption. In addition, VCF on Flash Deck is extensible. As we mentioned earlier, the power of SDDC Manager is it gives you this ubiquity across dissimilar infrastructures. So a VCF deployment on Flash Deck can extend into the public cloud. It can extend into supporting additional workload domains that run on vSAN. And customers have this, this new capability to add DR, workload mobility, or utilize the resources that are in their data center to the best of their discretion with this deployment option and model. Our second value prop is around fabric flexibility. With Flash Stack, customers have the choice of deploying VCF on fiber channel and ethernet. This expands their, their off, options that are available to, the, to them today. It allows them to capitalize on any current investments. It also provides them a platform or an infrastructure that's future-proof, allowing them to adopt new technologies as they are supported. So speaking of support, we should probably just take a second here and just double click on um, what support means. So VCF4 today supports any storage protocol that's supported by uh, vSphere 7. However, SDDC Manager as the new management uh, plane um, doesn't have the maturity of storage stack that ESXi uh, has, and that's not meant to be negative, so please don't take it that way. Um, so because of that, you've got two classes of storage, if you will. Basically, you have principal storage, that's vSAN, NFS, and VMFS on fiber channel today. Principal storage means that, v, that SDDC manager can actually provision the storage along with or as a part of the uh, workload domain creation process. You have another class of storage today called supplemental storage. And that's comprised of vVols, iSCSI, and NVMe over fabric. These are supported storage protocols, but it means that you have to actually manually create or through SDDC Manager, you have to create the workload domain, then manually import uh, the data store into that workload domain. Uh, good news for VMware administrators, you can create uh, all those data stores right inside of vCenter server through our vCenter uh, plugin. And the last point I would make on this is uh, principal storage and supplemental storage is not a static list. Uh, VMware shared publicly that they have plans to continue to promote protocols from supplemental into principal, and those will happen um, uh, um, over time.
So again, fabric flexibility, leverage what you have uh, in your infrastructure today, flexibility to, to um, advance over time. The third area, and the area that I'm gonna spend the most on, I have three whole slides on it, is talking about simplified management. Obviously with VCF, simplicity starts with SDDC Manager. This is your single pane of glass management that allows you to um, manage the life cycle of the hardware uh, or actually the servers in your, your VCF infrastructure. It also provisions uh, the workload domains that subsequently pr uh, support your virtual machines and your containers. So this is a nice single pane of glass, if you will, to be able to support that infrastructure. And if, if, if you haven't heard it already, uh, it also supports the flash array for both principal and supplemental storage. So let's talk about storage and we'll come back up uh, with FlashStack. Pure Storage believes firmly that there is no simpler form of enterprise class storage than flash array. And that that's, this aligns very well to the goals of VCF. There's nothing to tune, there's no trade-offs. This means anyone with zero storage experience in your IT staff can be very successful uh, with a flash array. That also that the, the native attributes of flash array align really well to different types of prioritization within your workload domains. Are you looking at a cost-centric workload like a consolidation, uh, a consolidation of virtual machines? No problem. Our data reduction and our other technologies really dive on the price per gigabyte for storage. Are you looking for availability-centric workloads? No problem. The flash array has a proven greater than six nines of availability of uptime through both planned and unplanned um, outages. Are you looking for something that's more performance centric? No problem. We deliver consistent sub millisecond latency and 100% through and 100 of performance through failures and maintenance. These, these options are available um, simultaneously. There's nothing to tune. They're all just native within the, within the array. And so when we look at a flash array as a part of a flash stack, which is our converged infrastructure offering with Cisco, we believe that this is a, the, is the simplest infrastructure underneath VCF because the, the benefits of the storage simplicity and the disaggregated architecture simplifies the management of the VCF cluster and specifically the ESXi servers. This means software updates occur faster. Uh, I don't have to go through um, any um, upgrade option considerations uh, with that software update. My HA recovery is faster because v um, VMware HA just kicks in and restores the services. We don't worry about the state of the server when it comes back online, it comes back online. Uh, as well as we have this ability to scale compute and storage independently, aside from one workload domain, reassign to another, as we mentioned in the previous slide. So together we think we have a very powerful joint value proposition. Now with that said, I'm, I'm winding down here and I wanna to touch base on, on automating and um, data protection. Containers are increasing in terms of our customer adoption and the amount of customer inquiry. Uh, we support vSphere um, 6.7 and higher today with our pure service orchestrator. This is our, our CSI driver that provides persistent storage to virtual machines, uh, supports fleets of pure storage devices, whether flash array or flash blade, uh, handles things like automatic HA failover. Uh, PSO is supported today uh, within VCF. If you want to adopt some of the new VMware uh, portfolio um, components like Tanzu or Project Pacific, that is also supported today, but not with PSO. It's just supported with native VMFS and VVOLs. Our engineering teams are working together to, to provide support for Pure's CSI driver underneath Tanzu and Pacific, and stay tuned for updates on that. When it comes to data protection, we believe beyond the six nines of availability that the flash array provides, that customers have greater needs. So you should know that we are fully supported with Site Recovery Manager to orchestrate your disaster recovery failover, as well as your non-disruptive testing of your failover plan, whether you're using asynchronous replication or our new active DR. We also support VMware's Metro Stretch cluster with our active cluster for a metropolitan uh, deployment that, that deployment gives you a zero RTO. You can also leverage SRM in that to move which site a virtual machine may be running on or its primary site, as well as you can combine the two together to have the best in class, you know, zero RTO local or in a metropolitan area type of deployment, as well as use SRM and asynchronous replication to stretch around the globe. With that said, I am running out of time here. 
So before I go, I want to encourage you to learn more about our joint VMware VCF on Pure Storage Solutions, as well as all of our VMware integrations and capabilities. Uh, please stop by our virtual booth, check out our demos. And with that, this has been Vaughn Stewart. I'd like to thank Shelton DePiva for joining me here and enjoy Accelerate. Great, thanks, Vaughn.